Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Amethyst, and you are here watching Amethyst Budgets. Today's video is actually not going to be a budgeting video, and for some reason, the exposure is way too bright, so let's close the window there. Uh, so today's video is going to be something a little fun. Today is the 25th, and my birthday is on the 26th, so something that I thought might be a little bit fun to do is kind of go over like how I've been spending my money, um, starting as a 17-year-old up until the age of 20. Um, 20 was the last year that I lived on my own, and had like proper bills and stuff so I was like let's go see what mini me was doing um, so to start off the video we are going to talk about the nails so these are Sailor Moon themed nails if it would focus these ones are Ami slash Sailor Mercury and then we've got of course Sailor Moon or Usagi so Look at how stinking beautiful these are. So these are, of course, by Ballerina in Stilettos. Her Etsy shop will be linked down below where you can get yourself a pair of these. Um, I love them. They're amazing. So definitely go check her out. Um, she has done new things to the gems that they were, like, seriously not going to fall off. Like, I literally couldn't... I don't see how these can fall off, so <laughs> if you're nervous about that, definitely don't be. So we're going to start off when I was 17 years old. This is in 2017. Yes, I was a 2000 baby, um, so it makes it really easy to know how old I was. So the first thing I noticed was that that's how much money I made that, that month, so made or received. I honestly don't really remember what I was doing at this age. I think I was working for a um, restaurant. Also, if you think that you're going to see any private information in here, trust me, you haven't. I've looked over this paperwork many times before. Um, if there are any numbers that you see, they are unimportant or they are old debit card numbers that no longer are available. So there's that. Um, there's no account information. I have whited out everybody's name. You will see the town that I used to live in, but there's a bunch of different towns in this document. So whatever. I don't live there anymore. <laughs> um, so just so you're aware. Um, so yeah, I'm not making that much money. Most of this was transfers from my growth account. 17 year old me was just living life. So I've got like Panera and Dunkin Donuts and McDonald's and like Tuesday mornings, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree was my jam. So at this point, I think I was a junior. I think I was a junior in high school. Um, so I did used to do boxing. So I went to Title Boxing for my gym membership and it was hecka expensive. Like even that was like hard to bite even though I didn't have any like proper bills. Um, and then this one was from an app called The Fabulous. If you guys have seen it, it's like a self-help or self-guide journey thingy where like it helps you to drink more water and just set up, you know, um, set up, what am I thinking? habits and stuff. It's just one of those. I don't know. There's a lot of gas here. Nothing super exciting here. Nothing that super stands out at the age of 17. Coffee. A lot of coffee. I, that, I've always been addicted to coffee. Lush. I don't know what I bought for $3.13, but I've always been a pretty cheap person too. Even now, like, if I had the money, I probably wouldn't be spending it on food anymore because I just can't bring myself to do that. But even you can see like an Ulta card for $12. Like <laughs> I wasn't spending a lot of money frivolously. So yeah, nothing super exciting at the age of 17. Let's see what we did when we were 18 years old. Drastic difference. So this, <laughs> these are all of my deposits. Deposits end here. And age of 17, my deposits was like this small little amount right here. So let's see, 18 years old, there's a lot of Zelle transfers. That was like before I got Cash App and Venmo and stuff. So these are typically people paying me back for like coffee or tickets. This was the year when I started going ham on the concerts. I think you'll see that I actually went to Panic at the Disco this year um, and a lot more, but we have, I was working at a coffee shop this year. So I worked at a coffee shop and then there's a couple other de deposits because the restaurant that I worked at gave me checks and so it was like a check deposit instead of a, um, payroll. So there's that. And then at this age, my dad started paying me and my sister $50 a week to go do our grocery shopping. So you'd think having $50 a week back then, I would have also eaten a lot more food, but that wasn't really the case either. So yeah, that's just what it's looking like. I got paid bi-weekly and you can see these Mercari deposits. Your girl was always hustling to get side income. And let's see what we're, we were spending the money on because I was getting a lot more here. So I was spending money at the restaurant that I worked at. 
Um, here's the Panic at the Disco. I purchased tickets for a bunch of people. That's why I had so many sales this this month. Um, the Fresh Market Coffee used to be like my jam. I loved Fresh Market Coffee. It is so good. Um, so that's what you see a lot of those probably. Subculture is another coffee shop. Just coffee, coffee, coffee. Um, some food here and there. Resource Depot was a really cool thing. There's just so many memories here. This is such a random video, but it's definitely like, I guess, podcast style, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully it's a little bit entertaining, but, um, the Resource Depot was a thing meant for teachers that they that started opening up, teachers and students, that they opened up to the public, and it was basically just a big donation center where you'd pay annually, and then you could go in and grab stuff whenever you wanted. Um, my mom is a Montessori preschool teacher, fun fact, and so she was constantly going there to get supplies to create her um, lessons and stuff, and so I would go along with her. And they had a section that was like beads and really nice, good quality stuff that they would sell. So that's what that is there, is I probably was picking up some crafting supplies because I was obsessed with crafting supplies. Um, we've got thrift shops. I've always been a thrifter. And then this was the year that instead of boxing, we went over to Gold's Gym, me and my sister. Um, we got a little bit of a discount because we both worked at that coffee shop and they were giving discounts to the coffee shop workers. <laughs> and it was interesting. Um, in case you've never been to a Gold's Gym, it is definitely a weightlifter's gym. Um, so it was a little uncomfortable because we were like 18 and 17 year olds going to this like manly gym. <laughs> a little weird, but um, yeah, so that was that. And then I did have a Walt Disney pass, um, a Disney World pass uh, at the age of 18. So me and two of my other friends, um, we would go to Disney World at least once a month because we lived in Florida and you'd get a little discount if you're a Florida resident and that is of course the Orlando one. So that was, 18 was honestly like a pretty good year for me. Like I'm thinking back on it now, I think 18 was one of the coolest years. There was definitely a lot going on that was negative as, as there is, but um, in terms of like memories and things that I was doing. 18 years old was an age where I was doing concerts all of the time. We were doing Disney World, we were doing road trips. Um, I had a lot of friends around me and it was an overall pretty good year in that sense. Looking back on it now, like this whole thing when I was whiting out all of the information on here, it was kind of cool to look back and be like, wow, like that was actually pretty cool. <laughs> that was a cool, cool time in my life. Um, yeah, so this is continuation of the 18 year old me. So we have these charges to a place called Robert is here. It is basically a fruit stand in Homestead, Florida. Um, really close to the Everglades and to he the Keys. Um, so it is just a big fruit shop and over the years it's definitely gotten more and more pricey which is unfortunate but it is one of those passed down for generations type of places. My grandma used to go there every time they'd go to the Keys. Yeah, we've got more food, food, um, AliExpress, because I was cheap, um, I paid for a calendar, like, <laughs> of all of the apps to purchase, I bought a calendar. Let's see, anything else here that's, like, worth pointing out besides coffee and food and thrift shop, thrift show, <laughs> thrift, oh my goodness, thrift shops. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything super exciting right now. Yep, I guess let's move on to the next one. So, now we're talking... 19 year old me and look at that jump from the 300 to 2200 dollars um so this was 2019 let me think what was happening on this one oh you know what okay i'm pretty sure yeah i'm pretty sure i was working for a <laughs> you can see i changed jobs so much i was working as a receptionist for a nail salon because i wanted to do nails um for my job i was either going to do hair or nails and so i ended up working at a hair and nail salon um that job was horrible um for a bunch of different reasons that i'm probably not going to talk about that was kind of <laughs> an interesting journey the job was cool, but it's like a salon environment. And if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it didn't pay super great. And I was getting paid as a 1099 worker. So that really sucked because I didn't know what that meant at the time. And then I figured it out afterwards and that was not fun. Um, 
But yeah, I don't really know how I got paid that much. I think it was just me moving my money around and stuff because at this time I had started cash budgeting actually. Um, and I had stopped for a while and then I got back on it. But yeah, I've been doing cash budgeting since I was this old. I started watching Pink X Budgets and Erica Life Vlogs. Those are the two girls that I used to watch um, when I started it. And then I fell off and then I got back on, I believe, like February of last year. So, yeah. We had Starbucks. Okay, so this was the year that I was going to Starbucks almost every single day and getting just a regular hot coffee um, because I had, like, college and stuff at this time, which, by the way, I have gone to college. Um, I have, like, two credits away from getting my AA, but they lost my scholarship. Yep, I heard that right. And it was so, like, frustrating, the whole process, that I just was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. They lost my scholarship, and I was getting punished for it. So, yeah. If you guys want to know how that happens, let me know, and I'll, like, tell you in the next video or something. Um, but yeah, we see just a lot more coffee, and Starburst, and Walmart. <laughs> At this point in my life, I was living... I didn't have bills, but I was definitely living like adultish. Like I was buying my own food and I was buying my, basically everything I purchased was my own. Um, I was doing a lot of driving with my sister and yeah, I was, I think at this point, even on my own like phone bill and stuff, but I can't remember. So that was 19 year old me. Now we're getting into 20 year old me. So this was two years ago at this point. So right before I had moved out, I moved out November of 2020. Here we have, a lot more Whole Foods because at this point I was working at Whole Foods um, so getting a nicer paycheck and buying a lot of stuff <laughs> at Whole Foods so because of the little discount and stuff when I went on break I would just you know get some food from the bakery cafe where I was working and I was in the bakery section of Whole Foods but I was also I was initially hired as a barista but as soon as I got hired it was like during their transition phase of when the coffee went out of the specialty cheese department and into the bakery department. This was the month that I also purchased some like furniture which was the first time ever that I was like had enough money to buy my own furniture so that was kind of cool so I bought like furniture sets and then I I don't know if this was the same month but I ended up buying like Ikea stuff. Yeah look at that so I ended up buying the furniture sets that I still have right now actually. Buying oh oh my gosh okay <laughs> Okay, so this was the year that I met my, well, I didn't meet him, we've known each other for a long time, but this was the year that I started, like, talking a lot more to my boyfriend, um, before we started dating, and he got me into sneakers, and so that was actually the first sneaker I ever purchased. And it was an Air Max 97, and I purchased it on Mercari, and I probably paid way more than I should have, because it was a very, um not cool colorway like I thought it was cool at first and then I got it and I was like okay I hate this shoe not really hate that's a strong word but yeah so that's kind of funny that <laughs> to see that so still didn't really have any legit bills I was buying my own food and crap but I wasn't paying rent electricity or water or like health insurance and stuff like that yeah, so there's not really, <laughs> not really that much interesting. We got the Gas Buddy, been on that uh, Gas Buddy kick for such a long time now. Okay, yeah, not really that all that interesting, but I don't know. I thought it'd be interesting to see like how my money has changed. I've been, I, you could see I was eating out so much. Um, I was thrift shopping a lot more often. I just had. I had money I could spend and so I was spending it on things that when I look back on it it's like ugh, I kind of wish that I had saved that like that would have been so much more valuable to me now um, but it's okay because I was a kid and I was having fun um, I didn't really see as much like ticket buys that I then I was ex then I expected to um, I forget I think it was 1819 it had to have been 1819 when I was like going ham on I think my sister and I saw like over 30 or 40 concerts or something like that at 20 was after I had just gotten back from Ireland and London so that was a really cool time I I went like right before the pandemic hit I went in February of 2020 so that was really cool as well um, something that I like to think back on so 
yeah, that's <laughs> the boring video for today. If you guys thought this was interesting, let me know by giving me a like. Let me know how you used to spend your money when you were a kid. Were you more of a saver? Were you more of a spender? Uh, did you work when you were younger? Like, what was your money story like because I think that stuff is really interesting um, so let me know in the comments down below if you're comfortable with sharing and thank you guys for watching today's video I know it was super random but um, I just thought it was fun so hopefully you thought the same and I will see you in the next ones bye